Green Hell is definitely one of those games that is going to frustrate you, if not absolutely captivate you. Just look at the gorgeous graphics here looking down at the water. As you may have guessed, this has a VR version, and rightly so. However, if you like your survival genre, this is much more extreme than Rust or Ark Survival. You've got to watch out for snakes, as well as other wildlife. Even though you can fend it off, even the smallest scratch will get you killed later down the line. This is a full-on survival simulator, so you really do have to take care of yourself. As you'll see here, that because I got scratched earlier on in the game, I am now pretty much dead. And if you do not watch out for yourself, you will just drop dead completely randomly. This is survival in the jungle, so pretty much everything can kill you. Settings wise, I did have to bring this down to medium settings and also cap the frame rate with V-Sync on at 40 frames per second. This gave a much more stable experience. You can see the frame time was really not jumping around. And as I said, even just going to sleep in this game can get you killed. So you really have to feel your way around in the early stages and you will have to learn the hard way how to survive. Now after a bit of messing around I did manage to start setting up a little camp without venturing too far away from the initial starting area and this is where the game actually becomes extremely in-depth. Yes you have your standard harvesting abilities but the way that you craft in this game and also inspect yourself in case there's any leeches or scratches that you need to then bandage up is much more realistic than some of the other survival games I've played and playing this on Steam Deck really is an absolute blast. I'll be very interested to see if we can get the VR running for this as I now have a Quest 2 headset again so I may see if I can get the VR version of this running off of Steam Deck although I'm not hopeful considering it can only just about hold 40 frames per second on standard mode. Now here's some of the crafting, if you make a hand tool you can then make fire and this is again I think where some of the VR aspects would come into play however it's automated in the standard version to then be able to come and build your fire and then you can also make beds. The notepad plays a huge part in this game and it's a bit different between being able to craft directly off your backpack like this or versus actually using your notepad to then find items that you want to craft and then the crafting menu kicks in so do beware if you do start this there is two different ways to craft and for anything that has more than stuff that you can hold you'll need to go to your notebook to be able to kick that process off so the other thing is obviously being in a rainforest if you build a fire it's a high chance of it being put out by the rain so you really do have to watch not only your resources your health, your stamina, but also the weather. Can't just sit in a fire in the rain in this one unless it's sheltered. I really did enjoy my time with Green Hell after I got through the initial frustration as it really is quite a steep learning curve, but it was a huge achievement to be able to wake up after a day in the jungle, not only unlocking that achievement, but knowing that I'd finally managed to set my path on the survival route. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. And if you do decide to dive in, good luck. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.